changing a regular deadbolt, adjustable deadbolt to a drive-in deadbolt. So you want to pop this off. And throw away these two pieces. And then pop this on. These sometimes come with a deadbolt. Didn't get anything with my 626 deadbolts, but it got them with the uh, 625 deadbolts, which is kind of weird. Because they're not even 625 in color. So I've already measured up uh, five and a half inches to the center. Way through, and then I have to bust, bust the piece out of the end of the drill. And then, when the drill bit penetrates the other side, you turn it around and do the from the other side. There's a really good reason for that. If you uh, blow all the way through, you might blow right through the laminate, and, and it just shatters on the other side. There you go. I'm gonna get all that out of there. So I was going to mention, if you don't have the door drilling jig, you can either use the instructions that come with the deadbolt or doorknob, or you can buy one of these. They're fairly cheap at the hardware store. This one says it's, uh, doesn't say what the thickness is, so I'm going to open it up in a minute and uh, see. But looking through the side, it looks like it's about one and three quarter inch maximum, which is standard for industrial doors. This is the back side of it. It comes with a mandrel. A two and an eighth inch hole saw and a one inch hole saw. Uh, so this is the Irwin drilling jig that I was showing you earlier. Uh, it's, it's set so it can uh, expand. So here's a template that comes with the deadbolt when you buy it new. You don't have to buy the fancy drilling jig I've got. You can just use this piece of paper. It's included. It's easy. You just set it on the door. Figure out your uh, the width of your door. And then that's your back set. Uh, uh, Two and three eighths or two and three quarter back set. So you don't need the expensive stuff, just uh, follow the instructions that come with the block. Right, since I'm doing a two and three quarter back set, you need to drill the hole deeper because uh, if I wouldn't drill the two and an eighth inch hole here, it'd be fine. You don't have to go any deeper, but for the inch and a half hole, God, go deeper. The aluminum piece that I made instead of the original the quick set plastic one, stick it in the edge of the door here and if it doesn't go in, I use my wood chuck here which is the uh, Nicholson three quarter inch. Safety glasses. 
still blow up in your face. All right, so then you shut the door with the piece in it. I'm gonna do it up, up right where it's at. And I'm gonna put some tension on it. And then I'm gonna push and pull on the, on the turn, turn the handle to get a good mark on the door frame because it's a steel door frame. And then the way I made this piece, it's got a little piece here I can put my chisel back in and pull it back out of the door. All right, then what I do is, Seven eighth inch socket and uh, the drive-in bolt. And since it's just kids' bathrooms, I'm not using a mortise mortise and bolt. Like I set it in there like that. You gotta be really uh, close to vertical. If you're not, you're not gonna be it's not gonna go in very well. So you see the setup here on the door. You just take this and hammer it in. So there it is driven in. Here's the hammers I make. It's a aluminum with a Delrin head and aluminum face on one side and the other side is just the Delrin. So don't forget to put the vacant sign on vacant. If you put it in the other one of the other two ways, it's not going to uh, be uh, able, you won't be able to fix it after it's already screwed on the door. Uh, I grab the tailpiece with the vice grips like this, and then all you got to do is bend it. There. Install the tailpiece in a hole like this, and then test it to make sure it works. Huh, amazing, it works. So then you take the tailpiece, and I like to use, leave the segmented section sticking this direction so it's stronger. And then put the thumb turn on. Just like that. Maybe it'll stay, maybe it won't. With these super tiny screws. I'm gonna get my head out of the way. Put the screws on. You lock tight them if you think the kids are going to mess with them. All right. Oops. Here we go, drilling the door frame. Seven eighth inch hole saw. Put my glasses on so I can see anything. Right in the center. not to hit down on the door frame as soon as you hit and you can the paint and stuff. See ya, we don't want to be ya. And after the hole is cut, you want to do a test fit. And I usually drill on top of a cardboard box or a garbage can so that uh, all the metal shavings fall down. And look at that, it fits. So then you want to make sure the kids don't cut their fingers up, so you need one of these. I'm probably the only locksmith in the the world that uses one of these. It's called the Shaviv. Uh, you can probably get different brands, I'm not sure. But all you have to do is put it in a hole. Then check it. Still got some left. Keep doing that until it's smooth, and then on the inside, it's kind of a pain, but you can get in the inside too. But what I, what I do is use a uh, carbide burr on an electric drill. All right, it's all deburred. You take your Sharpie marker and you paint the hole in so it's less obvious that you've been here.
just like that. And so here's the job that sucks, literally. <laughs> Dewalt 20 volt shop vac awesome thing awesome